This is the result. Albondigas con tomate. And Mandazi, the midlife man. Okay. Hello guys. Welcome and welcome back to my our YouTube channel, David and Mary. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel, for, you, for viewing it, for comments, sharing. We really appreciate without you. We don't know how we can do it, but we are really, really thank you. Let us reach to 10,000 subscribers in the next few weeks, guys. And for those who are new, please kindly, as you watch, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, David and Mary. So that's it and today i want to i want to show you how to cook um meat uh, vaca albondigas or carne carne spanish called carne carne albondigas so i don't want to waste too much time we are feeling hungry we need to eat and david is outside doing something on his motorbike so the video is going crazy with the mandazi. All the time, cook mandazi, cook mandazi. So now also, I cooked some mandazi today. Just a few minutes ago, I cooked for him mandazi. I don't know we're gonna eat maybe for the next two, three days. Uh, also, mommy like mandazi. So I'm gonna cook uh, albondigas or carne arbondigas here i don't need a a lot of complications i will take you through i have two pieces of bread but you can use more if you want quattro dentos the uh, the ajo i have hot milk here salt olive oil have a pimiento dulce I have Camino, mm -hmm. I have a spoon and a fork, this is a mixing, I have one egg, I have this um, green green uh, capsicum or pimiento, I have uh, uh, these onions, spring onions, I have two tomatoes but you can put as much as, as you want. And I have five, 500 gram of meat. See. So in case you are here in Spain or you are new, you don't know how to buy or you don't like pork, be careful because here in Spain, sometimes they mix, but they will put on top. If you see, they put a, a picture of a cow and a picture of a pig, sometimes they mix uh cow and uh, pork but for us we don't like uh, mixing especially me David is okay his mommy is okay I don't like to mix uh, pork and uh, cow so I will cook this and I have a uh, flour Hadina de trigo all-purpose flour I have salt there and then for those who knew I cooked one sauce before I have sauce here. I will incorporate on it. I just cooked a new, another one now, a few minutes ago. I will incorporate this one. And this is my pot. It's big as it is. Then I will also have a pan to use it. I will take it out a few minutes ago. I will incorporate it. So, at this time, let's dive into cooking. Here I will start by cutting a I will remove these rough pieces on the side. This is the only I want to start now. I'm going to throw this. And the remaining I want to use, I will cut into pieces and mix in the milk. Try to make sure 
the milk is very much so that you can mix very well. And also I'm gonna add uh, black pepper, but it's an option if you like it. So I will put this one here. Next, I want to go to the meat. One thing I'm missing, bit camino and uh, pimiento dulce so as you can see this then I will put uh, my milk uh, mixed with the egg inside So from here I will have to mix, for it mixing with the hand, because some hand spoon is not always good. It's nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. the flour not too much just a little bit so this flour will be helping me a lot i will do like this and i have one thing guys before i forget some people use this when they are starting to cook and this is for chicken but david doesn't like it so that's why i never use it nowadays but some families like it a lot so I will start molding my meatballs or carne albondigas. You can mold if you want big, if you want small. So I will take a little bit flour here. So you can see. Then I take a spoon of meatballs. So from here. I want to make sure the flour makes uh, help it be soft and also not to break. If you want to make very small, you can make two. That's I want to know who are. And where are the police? They never see nothing. I'm almost done, guys.
My meat balls are ready now. I'm gonna start frying. I will have to move a little bit. I need space. The meat don't let coffee alone. So I will move this one a little bit there. I don't know, you can see. And this one to be here because I want to use both places. So turn it on this one. I need oil. So I just want a little bit oil, not a lot, because I want to fry very little. So I will be multi multitasking this. Can you put for me this one in a second? I want to fry meat a little bit. So my oil is almost ready. I'm gonna start. See. Can you see my oil is ready now? You can see how it's going on the pan. Like that. Este es el papel que tú me trajiste de, de la pensión. El volante del padre de mí. Entonces tú no me traes a mí el papel de la pensión. Porque estos son los que me ha traído. Son iguales. El de la pensión te lo dije a ti, lo dije. ¿eh? No, no, no. No me lo has traído. Estos son los dos que tú me trajiste. Cool. But if you help me with the... No, I have the... Okay. I just want a small pan. Not a pan. Uh, a cover. The cover we are using. No. The metal one here. You can see, I will try a little bit like that. Yes. Yeah, that way. Don't put too much high because you just want a little bit fried. I think that you have to put it like the food or oil. That? To avoid, the, oil. To avoid the oil from splashing. What do you mean? Like there. I fry it. Swimming in the oil. No, because I want to cook after. I just want on top to be golden. It's gonna be more difficult. No. Okay. I done so many times. <laughs> So while the, that one is frying, I have to embark on cutting. So I will start with onions. There is no very big style of cutting this onion. I like to cut it in strips. The much you like. If you like one, if you like two, if you like three, put three. And don't forget, I'm frying on the other side. You can see. Just have to turn this to fry both sides. You can see. David, mm -hmm. you're making too noise. So, what do you want it to do with this way then? 
go like this until you finish all. So just to be careful, they don't break. Some people like to remove the skin, but for us, we prefer both. Or if you don't want to cut, you can put in the blender too. You can see my meat. The one that I fry is ready. I remove and I put separate. So I put back the ones that are not yet. And I add the remaining. Next, cut apple. I'm going to start frying the onions. My meatballs is almost ready. There. You can see. For pepper, you just need to cut like this into strips again. What happened? Nothing, honey. I don't know why Spanish people like the green pepper a lot. This type mm. of pepper. The father of my friend who trying recently, he liked to eat like that, fresh, without cook. Yeah, fresh is good. With bread. Mm. <laughs> he take bread and pickles, green, green, green. Ah, I like eat, that. I eat also green pepper. Yeah. Without but you don't need to put two. If you have a lot, you can put a lot. Okay, I'm done with that cutting. So I will start, I will put my onion to start frying. I'm done frying all my meat. As you can see, now I put side. I'm gonna use it now. And this one I will not use because I need it also in the next few minutes. So as you can see, my onion is not very, very cooked. So at this time, at this moment, I will put my garlic. Then 
then I will put my tomato. I will wait it to cook a little bit before adding pepper. Now you can see it's a bit cooked. Then add pepper. And then you do it. So here, just add very little salt because in the meat we have salt also. Very little. At this point, if you don't want to overcook the, the pepper, you can add uh, your meat now. Or if you want to overcook the pepper, you can wait a little bit. So for me, I prefer not to overcook. So I will go further and add. And make sure you don't break. Put slowly, slowly. And when mixing, you have to be very, very careful. Because it's easy to break. So I will give it a little bit time. You see guys, you have to keep on checking too. See? Most of the time try to... So I will add a little bit of water. to break you are calling the company so the water I was boiling here separate I'm gonna add a little bit this one it's too late they don't pick this one it's three almost three thirds that most of the time it's good just to mix like this. I give it few minutes. So at this guys you can see my meat. It's like this. Actually some people prefer only like this without putting the, the sauce. But if you want to put the sauce like me, my sauce is very nice. It's mix of vegetable. So I will add very little to make the sauce more thick and uh, nice. See my sauce? If you don't know how to cook this uh, sauce, please check in my other videos. I explained how to cook this sauce. I will put a little bit here. The remaining I have to cook to keep it for later use. It has a very nice taste. So my meatballs is almost ready. Don't forget to add this. In the next one minute, I will add the spring onions. I will add the onions. This is only for test. It's an option. If you don't want, don't put. 
then you mix slowly. So at this point, my meat is ready. I will turn off and wait a few minutes, or like two, three minutes, and I serve it. So guys, my meat is ready. My meat is ready. The results. Albondigas con tomate. And mandazi, David like mandazi a lot. Mm. I'm done with my cooking. We want to eat. Kindly like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And, and David. And with more. Comment to subscribe. Say, comment, subscribe, kindly. Like, comment, and subscribe. And you have flour in your mouth. And share. <laughs> and share. Mommy yeah, tell them share. to subscribe. Suscribio. Suscribete. 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 Bye bye. Adios. Adios.